Hi, I'm Alan LaChapelle, and I'm having some fun with a computer. I'm mineral oil cooling a personal computer that I had sitting around. I wasn't using it for a while, so I decided to do something fun with it and learn about uh, kind of a different technology, different way of doing things, and something that seems quite obvious uh, when you actually think about it. So let's take a look at the computer. So here it is. Um, that is the bottle from some of the baby oil that actually went into this bath. So baby oil is of course mineral oil and fragrance. I say of course because everyone knows what baby oil is, right? I don't even know if you can make that out. Uh, but it says mineral oil comma fragrance. And not it smells good so you know anyway so right now I don't have this air pump on uh, the air pumps turned off it's for a 60 gallon fish tank and it's just set up to blow bubbles through an air stone there's two air stones in there actually uh, and that'll circulate the oil and it'll also shove some air into it to do some convection cooling of the oil uh, so right now uh, this computer is completely silent. Um, there's a fan in that power supply and I can't take that out because if I do the power supply might not function correctly. But um, it's actually circulating this oil. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and oh, ooh. Oil near the... put my thumb down there. Um, can't necessarily tell you what the temperature is with my thumb. I'm not that good yet. But it's a lot hotter right by the heat spreader. Go figure. Um, so the oil's not circulating really, really fast. It's just circulating a little bit. So I've got some Gatorade bottles in here and an old milk bottle filled with water so I don't have to have as much mineral oil. Also water has a higher specific heat than mineral oil. The specific heat of mineral oil is 0.8. The specific heat of water is 1.0. Water is the basis for the unit, so... Uh, yeah. Hard drive. Don't put your hard drive in the mineral oil because the platters spin at a speed and if they are not spinning at exactly that speed and the little magnet that rides across and does what it does can't move freely, uh, the hard drive won't work. So the oil will get in there, it will penetrate, and the hard drive will stop working instantly. Uh, that, I just picked that up. Uh, that's your hard drive LED. And for some reason, the power LED is not functioning. Probably just didn't push the pins in far enough. Who cares? Uh, one of these is reset, one of these is power on. So I've got this temperature probe. So right now it's reading 38.3 degrees C, and if you don't like C, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so uh, that's actually not a big deal. Uh, if you were trying to air cool this thing with 102 degree air, it wouldn't work as well. But we know that air has a much lower density, and it moves air, uh, heat much more poorly than the liquid will. Uh, so that's the wire from the thermometer, and I don't know how well you can see it, but it's right there on the power supply. So that's where I'm getting temperature from. Uh, maybe I'll move it closer to the heat spreader for the processor, because that's probably where the most heat is being dissipated, but uh, maybe, maybe not. Who cares? It's working fine right now. So here you can see the core temperatures and I'm trying to make that focus a little bit better uh, right now the hottest core is flirting with 67 degrees uh, the load is 100 percent on all four cores this core doesn't have virtualization so just four cores no virtual cores and it's an Intel Core 2 Quad Q8200 so this computer is not brand new but it's uh, it's decently powerful, no turbo, no overclocking. It's 
uh, locked chip so I can't change the multiplier or anything like that. Uh, the program that is putting it under the load is Prime 95. So uh, if you're familiar with that, what it does is look for prime numbers. So that's what's happening there. And then right here is the kilowatt meter. I don't know if I showed you that yet or not, but that's how much power it's consuming. 127 watts. Okay? And if you care to see it, I will plug in the air pump just so you can see how that's working. Okay? Hear that annoying sound? Uh, the computer was essentially completely silent before. Now it is annoying. You can hear the bubbling. Kind of sounds like uh, we're making a potion or something. I don't know. And then bubbles form pretty quickly. Uh, temperature dropped a little bit as that oil starts to circulate. Got the hot oil away from the heat spreader, so the temperature drops. Uh, the equilibrium point of that temperature. And this went up as we moved the hot oil away from the heat spreader and next to the temperature probe. Or maybe it didn't move, enough, move up at all. I don't know. Not paying that close attention. Uh, so, anyway, some other things that are going on with this. Um, I've got a pump that I ordered from China. It's not here yet. This is a 120 volt fan. See there. I uh, actually took it from an old server cabinet. So these would sit at the top of the server cabinet and pull the heat away. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cord out for two of them, leave one attached, and use that on this heat exchanger. Very simple. Just run run the liquid through there, run the air over those fins, and that will induce the heat transfer. Uh, like I said, that pump's coming from China. I might buy another one because I'm going to be waiting a while, but the China pump was $3, so probably the cheapest part of this whole project. Um, so maybe I'll just wait. I don't know. Uh, this seems to be working really well so far, though. And that core temperature, by the way, is now down to 59. So that circulating of the oil seems to be doing a lot. And this temperature, it was 39.4 a minute ago. Now it's 39.3. So uh, not really a 39.4. Yeah, not really a very convincing result there because that temperature sensor is probably not accurate enough to really make that conclusion. But uh, I'm going to let it run and see if that core temperature drops and that coolant temperature drops. And that's what I'm calling it, coolant, because it's cooling the equipment. And it probably will. So that'll take a while. I won't make you watch the whole thing. Thanks. Bye.